19. You're home away from home. Underground. Are you the detective we sent for? It's me, Pearl. I've returned with the investigator. Let me just get the door for you. Important residents, and they are very worried. I'm here now. We'll get to the bottom of this. I cannot tell you what a relief it is, Detective. I've learned the moods of our patrons well enough to tell you the tensions are high. Is that at the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me. I shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see the glory of the scene? The artistry. What the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me? Ezra, you have outdone yourself. <gasps> This is your finest world. There is more emotion in his death than most. That was Big Maybell, with a whole lot of shaking going on. And when you're as big as Maybell is, you've had in their entire a whole lives. lot of shaking going on. Our friend is dead, Mr. Ovita. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse if than I may. That's what this I is to you. Have your attention or her. Sick. I'm but sorry for shouting. Public occurrences. But the detectives Some small are claims by our shall begin the investigation. Since possibly living. henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. You already agreed to discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you... Mm hmm Looks like the brain enclosure was... smashed. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. Is this... blood? Bingo. Baseball bat. <laughs> what is this doing here? Anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? Like... Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here. Why'd you do it, huh? He deserved better than that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the... Hello, Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Forget it. I can't do this right now. A hundred years of life and then 
Talk about the murder. There will be plenty of time for that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions. Indeed, this was the last piece I did in a series of portrait. Her emotional landscape is this way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. And what art this one? And please be honest, for art without honesty is just politics. It's a metaphor. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has meant more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? My fellow connoisseur of the art. Uh-huh. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. Never mind. Did you... If you ask me, it's one of those... Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to... Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Juliana... Yeah, hello, Detective. Did you need something? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. You've probably met my wife, Juliana. Was there something else, a detective? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but oh, was there something else, a detective? Never mind. Very well, I'll just get back to my work then. Of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix, and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No, no, it's not that. <sighs> My fellow connoisseur. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. 
I was painting at the time and I was trying uh -huh. Tell me about you. What is there to tell? My work is never mind. I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Julie, I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, a detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to uh -huh. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I heard you had a big fight with oh, him. Well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted... I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Oh, God, Juliana. Oh, Now here's the latest from the Commonwealth. Need Reports suggest the chem deal gone bad outside Diamond City. The tales are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened. <laughs> if we're able to verify any further details of this story, we'll pass them on to you, listeners. <laughs> Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? Up next is Sheldon Allman with Crawl Out through the Fallout. Protect and serve. Blindfold. Be on the open road. Good neighbor.
progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold paint in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Uh-huh. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just... Did you have... It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back... Never mind. Okay, just look... Sure. Three sons here on Diamond City Radio. If you're from out of town, be sure and visit Diamond City. It's safe, it's secure, and full of quality establishments like this. Commonwealth weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Now it's 60 Minute Man by Billy Ward and the Dominoes. Right here on Diamond City Radio. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question? Uh huh. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Park. I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, Detective. Ezra was embezzling your. You. We're so close, Detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little. This doesn't have to end in more. If I'm gonna let you go. Ah, so it's like that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh. Well, I'm all right, detective. Tell Maxwell. Your normal activities. Protect. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? I killed him. He had it coming. You did the right thing, Detective. There you are, Detective. Payment for your son. Man, I could really use a cigarette. Hey. Well? 